to talk. Okay, this is Dietrich Kelsey, and standing next to me is Byron Hurt at the Real Sisters of the Diaspora Film Festival and Lecture Series. Byron Hurt has produced and directed a documentary called Soul Food Junkies, correct? So how do you feel? How do you feel? I feel great. I'm a little tired now, but I feel, I feel great. I'm, I'm really happy with the way mm -hmm. people responded to the film, mm -hmm. the turnout tonight, mm -hmm. um, people sharing their personal stories, people having lots of questions after they watch the film, mm -hmm. people buying the DVD, so I'm very happy. Yeah, okay, so, yeah a lot of people came out and turned out in the film. I know in the beginning of the film you talk about the history of soul food, but also I wanted to ask you, did you know that soul food was so much of a part of the Civil Rights Movement and the Black Panthers Movement and all that? I knew uh, to some degree, um, but I wanted to explore it further in the film and I wanted to speak more specifically to how soul food served a purpose during the civil rights movement, mm -hmm. the black power movement, the black arts movement, mm -hmm. um, and even early, like, you know, during slavery, reconstruction. So um, I wanted to, I, I wasn't sure if everyone knew that. And so I wanted to make sure that I included that, that piece in the film. You had some great luminaries in the film, uh, real important people. Can you name those people? Well, some of the people that we interviewed were Dick Gregory, mm -hmm. who's someone who I wanted to interview, and, and, and um, I felt like I had to have a, a part of the film. How, how did you get him? Was it hard to get him? No, we just called him. I mean, we just, really? we figured, yeah, we went to his website, we got his contact information, and then we, we reached out to him, and he was very, very responsive, very accessible. Okay. And, um, you know, he met us. Uh, he was in D.C., mm -hmm. and we met him down in D.C., and we interviewed him. Oh, okay. So, um... Do you think that we in our community, do you think we in our community will change our eating habits in the future? I think we need to. Do you, do you think it's possible? Do you think that will happen? Well, I see, I definitely see a shift. I definitely see movement. I definitely see um, positive change. People are starting to um, be more concerned about what it is that, they, that they're eating, what kind of food they have access to in their communities. So, um, I do think there's going to be there is going to be change, but I think it is going to take some time. But more people are working in the community to educate, to inform, to enlighten, and empower people to make better choices. You know, something your film was very nostalgic for me because when I went to college and I came back and I didn't eat pork, my family thought I lost my mind. <laughs> Could you tell us your experience when you uh, change your eating habits? It's in the film, but I want you to say it here. Well, I mean, you know, I grew up eating a certain way, and you know, my mother, you know. She cooked soul food. My father ate a lot of soul food. So Breakfast on Sunday morning was when my pops and I really connected because we were sharing food with each other and establishing a family tradition. I never questioned what we were eating or how much. Back then, I just enjoyed my mother's delicious food. My father went from being young and fit to growing nearly twice his size. I worried all the time about my pops' health. My biggest fear was that he would get sick and die at an early age. Even though he talked about making changes, he continued to eat soul food meals that were high in fat and calories. Seven years ago, my pops got sick, and even still, he refused to give up eating traditional soul food, and I just couldn't understand why. My father's difficulty giving up soul food and other unhealthy foods made me curious about black people and our relationship to food. I wanted to know more about soul food's history, where it came from, and why it is so important to black cultural identity. How does southern food become soul food? When I began to change my, my eating habits, you know, it was, it was awkward, you know, within the family, my immediate family. When I went to family reunions, you know, sometimes my cousins would ridicule me or make fun of me because I wasn't eating meat on my plate or pork or, or whatever. But um, over time, people adjusted to me and my new eating lifestyle, and I think people respected me for it. Well, I have to say your film was very educational, inspirational to me also because I, I was a vegetarian, but I wanted to get back into that. You know, I, I don't eat pork. Mm -hmm. I just eat fried chicken. Just can't get away from that fried chicken. I don't know what it is. It's, but another question I want to ask you, were you surprised that the soul food um, recipes spilled over into other cultures, like the Caucasian cultures, the Asian cultures? No, I wasn't surprised because white people routinely exploit black culture okay. and, um, and borrow from our culture. So it doesn't surprise me at all. Um, it's just, you know, part of... Um, what happens, you know, when, you know, you have a culture that is so rich, you know, and, and has so much to offer. Oh, okay. 
So this is not your first documentary. You've no, done other documentaries. Could you name a few? I made a film called I Am A Man, Black Masculinity in America. Okay. I also made a film called Hip Hop Beyond Beats and Rhymes, which went to Sundance, mm -hmm. to the Sundance Film Festival and aired on PBS. I also made a short film called Barack and Curtis, and another short film called uh, If Five O Shoots. Okay. And Soul Food Junkies is the recent film that's going to air on PBS Monday, January 14th, 2013. Okay, so what's next? What's your next documentary? Your passion that you said. I'm not at liberty to really talk about it right now, okay. but um, um, I think it's going to be a very powerful film. Well, as long as you're working, you're giving out good information. That's all that matters. So okay, much. this is Byron Hurt from Soul Food Junkies. I'm Dietra Kelsey, uh, Sister Talk TV show. Thank you.